Well, thanks for tuning in. Um, for those of you that got a chance to watch our Michigan duel Friday night, as predicted, it was a real exciting match. Um, we started at 141 pounds. Um, Nick Dardanes came out, got a major decision for us. I thought wrestled a really, really good match and got things going. And then from there, the, the duel just kind of went back and forth. Um, we ended up dropping the bout at 149 pounds, um, got back on top at 157 as Ness went out, um, got his guy in a cradle and ended up getting a, a fall for us, getting us back on the boards. Um, then uh, Kingsley's out wrestling 165. He drops um, his bout to Massa one of the top uh, 65 punters in the country. And then it goes to 174, Logan Storley, I thought wrestled a really good match, um, ends up getting a major decision for us, and uh, um, things are just kind of going up and down. At 184 pounds was a, the big match tonight that I said this one could be a swing match, could go either way. Um, I thought uh, Farr wrestled a really, really good match, and overall, um, I thought he kind of controlled the match, but uh, he ended up losing. But I thought the way he wrestled and the way he finished the match, those things are crucial. Moving to 197, um, Scott Schiller comes out, um, wrestled a good match, gets a win. And then at heavyweight, Krails uh, gets, gets, ends up getting pinned by one of the top um, heavyweights in the country. Um, 125, we still don't have Brand Kale in. He's doing a lot better, um, but he wasn't. Um, we didn't feel like he was completely ready to wrestle. So uh, Bremer jumped in and filled in again at 125. I thought Bremer wrestled a, an excellent match. He um, created a lot of opportunities to score. He scored a few times, created some good scrambles, and uh, we're really proud of the way he was wrestling out there and uh, nearly pulled out a big win for us. And then the match came down to 133 pounds, which was kind of the highlighted match of the duel. So um, it really worked out perfectly for the fan standpoint. And uh, Chris um, Dardanes went out and just really um, did a great job of keeping the pressure on his opponent. And it was a, an even match all the way up to the third period where eventually uh, Chris ended up um, um, scoring the, the final takedown. So it was a, a real exciting way to finish it. Um, I thought the guys went out and battled hard and, and wrestled well. And uh, maybe one of the most exciting things was um, the prediction of best dress coach, which um, I clearly called that right and um, give props to myself. I actually picked out my own outfit. So um, from there we moved on. Uh, we traveled on Saturday, um, flew out to Rutgers and wrestled them on Sunday. And uh, we went out there, we didn't have both the Dardanes, they stayed at home, and uh, Brand Kale as well stayed at home. So um, we started that duel at 125, um, and we dropped our first four matches. Bremer again wrestled, I thought, a great match, had opportunities to win, really fought hard. Um, Jordan Kingsley filled in for Chris um, and lost his bout at um, 41. Conrad Rangel wrestled one of the top 41 pounders in the country, a really tough um, Rutgers wrestler, and uh, he wrestled a, a great match. Um, scored a, a takedown late in the third period. Um, nearly had a turn to put the match in overtime, but really wrestled very well. So um, we were really uh, proud of his effort. But, uh, but then it went to 49 where um, Short had dropped his bout. And so the first four matches we lost. And that was a real kind of a hole we set ourselves into. Um, going into the final match before half, Dylan Ness came out. Um, again, just kind of came through in, in the way that he has all season long and got a big pin for us and got, finally got us on the board and got things going right before half. So going into half, you know, it was nice that Dylan got that pin, got everyone excited. We started talking about um, the next five guys got to take care of business and, and take it in their hands at that point. And they did just that. Kingsley again wrestled at 165. He came out, got a win for us, moved to 174. Storley wrestling great, gets another um, big win for us. 184, um, Farr gets a major for us, and uh, then it moves to 197 where Scott Schiller wrestles Capletano, who is a, a, a really good athlete at 197 pounds, who was previous athlete for Ohio State, now at Rutgers, and uh, Scott did a really good job of coming out and getting a big win there and controlling that match, and then um, things are really starting to swing in our direction, and the big match of the night was at heavyweight, where uh, Krails now had an opportunity to wrestle a guy that number nine ranked heavyweight in the country. And uh, Krails went out and uh, gave up the first takedown and was in a hole a little bit and then scored the next couple takedowns and ended up winning the duel um, and, uh, and winning that match. So that was a big, big win for him. So we finished really strong and really well, and the guys uh, did well, but um, um, still looking to get better every week. This weekend uh, coming up, we got Illinois on Sunday here at home. 
Um, be a great duel for those of you that can make it. We'd love to have you come out again, and uh, we, we should have the full lineup. Hope to see you there.